Hey everyone, sorry that it's been so long since I've been on here, but life happens whether you're prepared for it or not. Kids grow up and schedules get really busy. I'm definitely looking forward to uploading new videos here on YouTube, so stay tuned for some upcoming projects and new adventures. As some of you have seen, I have recently upgraded my table saw and I've been wanting to add a sliding table to it to assist in cutting larger panels. I recently partnered with Harvey Industrial and will be sharing a few of their products with you here in the future. The first of them is this new Compass ST1500 sliding table. This is a universal table that will fit a variety of table saws. And I have a link in the description below for the Harvey website so that you can verify if your saw is compatible. This video will cover the basic installation and setup of the table, and then after I get some time on it, I will follow up with a review video covering my thoughts and experiences with it. For starters, this kit is packaged extremely well. Some larger and heavier tools tend to disrupt the packaging when they come in, but this box was near perfect when it arrived. The instructions cover all aspects of the assembly really well and it went together rather quickly. One thing that I appreciated is the leg extenders to assist in supporting the table as I have raised the overall height of my table saw by one and a half inches. These extenders simply get added onto the existing legs and cover that gap in no time. The sliding table offers large diameter holes to allow you to align the cast iron table saw top to the sliding table surface. I used a couple of levels and had it nudged into place in no time. If you did have a helper with you, this would go much quicker. This table can be mounted in two main locations. Standard mounting which allows for a full 48 inches of cross cut depth from the sliding fence to the blade, or flush mounting which makes the end of the table flush with the end of your table saw. This is the layout that I chose for now. Once everything was secured, I added the extension table to the side of the main sliding table. All of these components went together perfectly. To engage the sliding table, there is a spring-loaded detent below the table. Simply pull it out and turn it a quarter turn to the side and the table should slide freely. The fence comes pretty much assembled, so I wasted no time in getting it onto the table. There are two points of contact that lock the fence to the sliding table, and it can be locked at 90 degrees or mitered to 60 degrees left or right to cover most application. I added the two included flip stops and got them set up. There is also an extension fence which allows up to 59 inches in crosscut capacity. After getting everything roughly assembled, it was time to set the 90 degree angle. I used a square and aligned the fence to the blade. The adjustment of this fence system is very nice. You can add a bolt to lock it in at zero if so desired. Once set, the fence is extremely precise to the cut. After doing some test cuts, I have to say that I'm extremely happy with the results that I was getting on these cuts. I look forward to using this sliding table here in the future, and I will get you some good feedback in my review video, so stay tuned for that. As mentioned, I've also got some other ideas and accessories that I want to add to this saw. So keep an eye out for future videos where I cover some other Harvey accessories that I add to this saw as well as some other components just to help make life easier when using this saw. If you like this video, please click subscribe and stay tuned for more. I'm Casey with Sea Reeves Makes and thanks for watching.